Good morning, everyone, and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. To get a hold of me, simply call the office at 303-684-3404. The Freightliner we're going to take a look at today is quite a bit different than what you're used to seeing from us. This is a 2006 Freightliner M2106. This truck is four wheel drive. It has slightly over 75,000 miles. This truck is designed for work. So ranchers, farmers, people like that really pay attention here. As you can see, it, it basically is a cabin chassis. There isn't a bed to it, which is an advantage from the standpoint that you can put whatever you want to on there. An example might be putting a feed mixer for cattle, things like that. There's a variety of different things that you can put on this truck to really make it functional and serve the purpose for you. As we look, take a look at some couple of the other things from the side, it still does come with a storage box located right here. Another advantage to this specific truck is the fuel. It comes with 100 gallons here, 80 on the other side for a combined 180 gallons worth of fuel. So you're going to be able to go a substantially long amount of time without having to refuel that truck. Now as it sits there, that fuel is going to balance itself out. But when you go to fuel it up, you're going to want to do that independently. Now let's take a look directly from the front. One thing you have to admire and appreciate about this specific truck is the amount of clearance you have. As you can see, that's a lot higher than the two-wheel drive trucks. In addition, fog lights located right there. The bumper is broken into three parts. So if we're in an accident and we ding this up, we can simply replace that without having to do the entire bumper. As we come on up and take a look at the windshield, 2,500 square inches of glass, which really makes visibility outstanding. And finally, we'll finish up at the very top with an additional row of lighting located right there. Now, as we take a look under the hood, That's the Mercedes MBE 900. This offers 330 horsepower, 900 foot-pounds of torque. It's coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV 5-speed transmission. Another advantage to getting a truck a little bit older like this is it's pre death so we don't have to worry about that that kind of stuff as you'll notice that hood you have to manually force it down now we did put brand new tires on it those are 315 80 r 22.5. Now we're getting to that time of year. We're going to want to start plugging in trucks at night. Right there is the block heater. As we take a look at the driver's seat, we see it is air ride. Both front seats are air ride. Like most haulers, you can start your truck from the ground and the best way to do that is turn that key about halfway let those gauges go all the way over and basically reset themselves and then start the truck as you can see rubber floor mats running across the front the fire extinguisher right there in the middle
as we take a look at the back seat. This particular one does not make into a bed, but you can still see how much room is in there. And you can easily take three passengers in the back seat. Another advantage to this truck being a work truck is the rubber floor mats, rubber floor running across the bottom. So when you're done for the day, this truck is going to be very easy to clean up. Now, as we focus on the bed, we can see diamond plate running right there. And as we take a rear view shot, we'll start at the ground and work our way up. Again, I want to note the height of the vehicle for guys going in pastures, fields, that kind of thing. We're going to be able to go right over a lot of stuff. Bumper. Pull hitch located here. And you hook those lights up right underneath here. Now as we take a look at the bed, we see you can put any type of hitch that you want in there. Our parts department actually sells the Hensley hitch. So that's the one that comes with airbags. So when you're pulling your trailer or whatever you're towing, it's actually riding on air so that helps save the trailer and it's a lot less wear and tear on the truck as well as we continue around and take a look from this side we see a larger storage area located here now with the truck this age our financing department isn't going to be able to finance it. So it basically needs to be a cash deal. So if you need to get financing, you're going to have to go to your own financial institution or bank to get that done for you. Another thing to mention is in the last couple of weeks, the price of this vehicle has been dramatically reduced. As we take a look at the passenger seat, there's no rips, tears, anything like that. Underneath here gives us access to the cab air filters. Now let's crawl on in and take a closer look. This truck is stock number 5U220310. Some things to note from the cab. Here's the automatic transmission I talked about. It's very simple to drive. Right now, we're in neutral with the brake on. So when we start our travels, just push that back, R for reverse, N for neutral, and D for drive, and we're on our way. Fog lamps button is located right there. This is the trailer brake. As we come on across, mirror heater is located here. This is the engine brake. So you put that up for high or down for low. An example of when we would use that is say we're pulling a heavy trailer and we're coming down a rather sharp decline. We can go on ahead and kick that up to high and that's going to slow everything down so that makes things safer for everyone on the road this is where we put it into four-wheel drive climate control located here now there is an air gauge right here now we have air going to the hitch back there that's all set up and ready to go so that monitors that so as you can see a rather unique one that we have on the lot today, one that has a lot of function and a lot of purpose to it. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to give me a call. The cell phone number 970-370-4067, the work extension 303-684-3404. Feel free to email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.